If you're thinking about installing solar panels for your house in Virginia, then stop right there. You're going to want to watch this video first because I'm going to explain how the rebate programs and the incentive programs work for solar power in Virginia. And I'm also going to be helping you to avoid the costly, potentially very costly standby charges. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And here at Solar Surge, we're primarily using renewable energy, solar, plus battery backup, and in some cases, generator backup as well. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how the various solar programs and incentives and rebates work for homeowners in Virginia. Virginia has a statewide net metering policy. And one of the best ways to take advantage of solar in Virginia is using net metering. What net metering means is that your relationship with the power company becomes a two-way relationship. You're able to trade energy back and forth. So during daytime hours, when your solar panels are producing abundant electricity, you're able to power the home directly using solar power, and you can actually sell your excess solar back to the power company. So during daylight hours, your meter is rolling backwards and you're building up credits on your account, which will then cover what you have to pull back in from the power company during the evening hours that you would otherwise have to pay out of pocket. Now you've already earned credits during the daytime, so you don't have to pay out of pocket for your usage regardless of what time of day it is. Now, net metering is available to all Virginia homeowners who have a for-profit utility like Dominion Energy or Appalachian Electric Power, the state law requires that they offer this one-for-one -one net metering. And the good news is that most of the member-owned co-ops offer net metering as well. Uh, for example, where I live in Central Virginia, we use Southside Electrical Co-op, and they have a great net metering program here. So does Rappahannock Electric Co-op, uh, as well as Northern Neck Electric Co-op. All of these offer you that one-for-one -one net metering program. Virginia is also a solar access rights state. And what that means is that the state law protects your right as a homeowner to access solar power. Uh, it protects you from any kind of restrictions that your homeowners association might try to impose on you. Uh, as long as the solar panels uh, or any kind of restriction that would, would reduce your solar power output by more than 10%, uh, the HOA is blocked from, from making any kind of restriction like that. So even if they were to tell you, uh, we don't want you to put them on the front of the house. They have to be on the back of the house. If that change would impact your solar power access by more than 10%, then the HOA is legally blocked from doing that. So your, your rights to access solar power are very, very good here in Virginia. You're also going to want to take advantage of the 26% federal tax credit for solar. Uh, you may have recalled from our previous video on how to claim the solar tax credit that the federal government will actually reimburse you 26% of your total project cost to install solar panels uh, at the end of the year when you file your tax return. So you definitely wanna make sure that you take advantage of the 26% federal tax credit. Now, one of the things that you need to avoid is what's called standby charges, okay? The big utility companies were able to convince the lawmakers that folks that are generating what they consider to be too much solar electricity onto the grid, that they ought to pay what essentially amounts to a penalty fee for having a solar system over a certain size. And so th their logic is, you know, homes that have these large solar systems, uh, if it's a cloudy day uh, and the solar panels aren't producing, we, the power company, have to have that power available on standby to keep power on to the home, right? And so, for example, let's say you have a 10,000 watt solar system and on a bright sunny day, it's producing close to that 10,000 watts, but on a rainy day, it's not producing hardly anything. So the power company has to have that, that 10 kilowatts on standby to deliver. Um, I, I think that's kind of a asinine uh, justification, but what this really amounts to is that if you install solar over a certain size in Virginia, you become subject to standby charges. And, and these standby charges could be significant. I mean, in some cases, I've seen them $100 to $140 per month. 
It's based on the, the peak draw of the house, so it's not a fixed charge per home. It's, it's based on the, the peak power draw that your house has during any given billing period. But it's something that you want to avoid. If you're trying to maximize the dollar for dollar payback on your solar panels, your goal should be to install as large of a system as you need that doesn't exceed your, your needs and that also does not exceed the threshold where you become subject to standby charges. So as of 2021 here in Virginia, you are allowed to have a system size up to 15 kilowatts AC before you become subject to standby charges. Um, that means, you know, 80% of your homeowners out there, you're not going to really be worried with this. Most homes do not need anything near a 15 kilowatt system. The average home uses a nine kilowatt system. So most of you are going to be okay. But if you do have a very large home or you do have very, very high energy usage and you receive a proposal for solar, let's say it's 18 kilowatt, 20 kilowatt system, uh, you want to make sure that you ask the, uh, the salesperson, uh, whoever you're dealing with, um, is this system going to subject me to standby charges? Because that can really eat into your ROI. Now, as most of you know, right now the conditions for going solar are great because energy prices are forecasted to rise 7% per year here in Virginia for the next three years. And right now interest rates are very, very low. So if you choose to finance this purchase of your solar power system, you can essentially trade out one for one on par with your electric bill. It shouldn't cost you anything out of pocket to switch as long as you get good sunlight to the house. So if this is something that you'd like to take a look at getting a quote for installing solar panels for your home in Virginia, we have great partners in Virginia and we'd be happy to help you get set up if you're not working with somebody already. Uh, feel free, you can reach out to us on the link below here for a free no obligation quote. We'll just set up a short, you know, half an hour or so, a short virtual meeting, talk about your needs and your requirements, and I can put together a design for you. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good information from the videos that we put out, make sure that you click on that like button and also click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, so that way you won't miss any of our future videos. Um, guys, it's so important. I know I say it at the end of every video, but it's so important for those, um, those likes and those shares so that YouTube knows that it can show the video to more people. Well, thanks again for tuning in today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.